Most Ohio University students are finding out that the true price of education is debt. Newswatch at Noon reporter Clay Benjamin joins us live from College Green with how Ohio University's campus newspaper, The Post, is shining a light on this growing problem. Clay, what can you tell us about this series? The Post's five-part series is called The Degree of Debt, which explores student debt at Ohio University and how students are affected by it. Another day, another dollar for Ohio University students, literally. According to the Ohio University website, for an in-state student that will be living in the dorms, it costs almost $24,000 to attend Ohio University, and almost $33,000 for students who come from out of state. It's a huge burden, really. Um, as a you know, middle class student from a middle class family, it's hard to find the actual money, tangible money, without using loans to pay for college. One way students are trying to avoid student loans is to work minimum wage. According to the Post, a student from Ohio would have to work 35 full-time weeks at minimum wage to pay for a full year of school in 2015, and that is excluding taxes. The cost of a four-year degree at OU has increased almost $7,000 since 1978 after adjusting for inflation. In comparison, Miami University increased its tuition by almost $12,000 since 1980. As of right now, students are left to just sit and twiddle their thumbs with the knowledge that debt is soon to come. According to the Post, the cost of OU tuition will increase by 2% for the 2015-2016 academic school year. Live from College Green, I'm Clay Benjamin. Hi. Thanks, Clay. We now have Alan Smith with us live. Alan is the project editor for The Post, um, and he was one of the people behind the Degree of Debt us. series. Alan, Hello. thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Asia. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So was the problem as bad as you expected when the story was assigned? Actually, yes. Uh, Ohio University, as recently as 2011, had the second highest rate of defaults on student loans. Now, since the Board of Trustees has said that that rate has decreased uh, in the years following, but still uh, far too high. And uh, in-state tuition for Ohio University is higher uh, than the average in-state tuition for uh, schools across the nation. Uh, actually, for Ohio, it's a little bit lower than in-state tuition for most four-year public universities. Uh, but we expect that this problem to affect many, many students on campus. All right, absolutely. Um, what does the university have to say about all of this? Well, the university understands that this is a huge problem. They are confident in their Ohio guarantee to help solve some of it, although they understand that the Ohio guarantee is not so much a plan for student affordability as it is for planning, uh, planning for parents and students when they go to college so they know how much they'll have to pay for four years. Now, there is a 5.1% increase that's going to come in uh, at once. So obviously that's been a reason for protests that have happened on campus all throughout the year involving uh, tuition, up, uh, tuition increases. But the university is still steadfast in defending the Ohio Guarantee and they've also said that uh, they've increased financial aid as tuition's gone up to help uh, decrease that burden of tuition. Okay, and what's next for The Post? What's the next project? So Assistant Culture Editor Rebecca Barnes will have a piece on Thursday. It's our uh, year-long postmodern series. There's a feature from culture staff every week. It's actually taking a look at uh, single-use bathrooms, uh, bathroom accessibility, and how many bathrooms are inclusive to all groups uh, on campus. Uh, Gender-neutral bathrooms, so it's a piece I'm excited to, uh, excited to see. You can catch it online Wednesday night or in the paper Thursday morning. All right, thank you so much, Alan. All right, Alan you, Smith, the project director of The Post, thanks for speaking with us today. Thank you for having me on.